we continue to look at some of the components to proper shaky head rigging and and fishing um one of the questions i get asked quite a bit is what size line do i fish with um, with my shaky head rigs and um, I, I keep it fairly simple um, i am fishing a, a spinning rod and reel combination with you know my shaky head fishing so i want to you know maintain the, the the proper line for um, not only the spinning reel but the technique and a lot of times what governs um, the size of the line that I'm going to fish with a with a shaky head is the weight of the the actual jig head. So um, first of all, exclusively I fish fluorocarbon line, and there's a reason for that is that fluorocarbon is invisible under the water to the fish, so you just get more bites with it. It's super sensitive because it stretches less than monofilament. Um, and it's also very abrasion resistant. So that's really important to me that, you know, when I'm stepping down in, you know, line size um, to, to a very small, you know, pound test diameter, um, I want that abrasion resistance. So, you know, when I'm fishing the shaky head around cover and structure that, you know, I don't lose as many fish or break in, in a, any fish off. So um, those are the, the real important attributes of a fluorocarbon line. You want to make sure that you use a, a premium uh, fluorocarbon line. I, I'm fishing with Suffolk line, and it's you know the line that I fish with for years and years, and it's super strong. And one of the things that they've done this past year is they've integrated some some different size lines, uh, some odd pound test uh, lines into their lineup. And uh, usually I'll fish eight and ten pound test, but they have a, a seven pound test, which I really like quite a bit, especially when I'm going, you know, down to a very small shaky head, uh, jig head, like, you know, down to a 16th ounce head, which is very light and very hard to control, even with a, with a small worm, you know, on the, on the back, it's still very hard to, to control. So going down from, you know, eight pound test to seven pound test is a huge difference in allowing me to, you know, have a little bit better feel over that, that lighter um, size head and, um, you know, being able to tell what the bait's doing and feel it in and around the cover. So, so I fish um, seven, eight, and 10 pound test, uh, depending upon the size of the head that I'm gonna fish and, you know, the cover as well too. If I'm fishing in open water and I don't need the, you know, the, the strength of like a 10 pound test fluorocarbon, I'll fish seven or eight. If I'm fishing in and around brush where there's a lot of cover, a lot of structure, some things to get hung up on, and I'm fishing, say, a little bit heavier head to keep it down in that cover, I'll go up to a 10 pound test. Uh, so I kind of let the size of the line and the size of the head and the type of the cover um, all come together and, and one's gonna dictate the other and, um, kind of give me the, the clues as to what I should fish. So I'm fishing either seven, eight, or 10, depending upon size of the head, type of cover, and, uh, and where I'm fishing. And the depth of the water too um, will play a little bit of, a, of a, a factor. And seven pound test and eight pound test fluorocarbon works really, really good when I'm fishing depths in you know, 15, 18, 20 foot of water. It just helps that bait get down to the bottom a little faster, a little quicker, Let's me maintain contact with the bottom and uh, you know there's just a whole lot better feel for these light baits using a lighter pound test. So fluorocarbon line, 7, 8, 10 pound test, let the uh, your selection um, you know match with the type of head that you're fishing, the type of cover that you're going to fish and that's as easy as I make it. So that's um, how I choose my line for fishing shaky heads. I'm Mike Del Visco. I'll see you on the water. And for more bass fishing info, log on to finsandtails.com or like them on Facebook. Fins and Tails, your hot spot for bass fishing stories, videos, people, places, events, how-tos, product reviews, and so much more.